You're listening to Sean Kelly Reviews, a presentation of Sean Kelly on Movies at www.skonmovies.com. Now here is your host, Sean Kelly. Hello and welcome to Sean Kelly uh, Reviews. I'm starting to get back into the swing of things after the uh, recent uh, Hot Docs uh, Film Festival. Um, If you uh, haven't already, you should probably check out my... uh, Hot Docs updates I posted on Patreon. Uh, those are um, exclusive p- podcasts for um, patrons, and uh, I didn't do it as often as I hoped to do, but I do hope you check it out, at least the uh, video reviews for $5 plus supporters. So uh, today I am going to review two movies. Uh, so first up will be um, Deadpool 2, which I uh, saw last weekend, and uh, then we'll go to uh, Jason Reitman's Tully, which I actually saw over a month ago, but it uh, opened a couple weeks ago, so I'll talk about that. And uh, let's get straight to it. Here is my review for Deadpool 2. Actually, that may have been me. Oh, you're living the dreams, DP. Yeah. Devil may care attitude. <laughs> Strong guys. Beautiful girlfriend. Sorry I'm late. I was rounding up all the gluten in the world and launching into space where it can't not hurt us ever again. Kiss me like you miss me, Red. What in the fuckical is this? My name's Cable. I'm here for the kid. What? The kid? Move or die. Kids give us a chance to be better than we used to be. He needs you. You're a lot smarter than I look. I ain't letting Cable kill this kid. But I can't do this alone. Can you speak up? It's hard to hear you with that pity dick in your mouth. We're gonna form a super duper fucking group. We need them tough, morally flexible, and young enough to carry their own franchise for 10 to 12 years. We will be known as X-Force. Isn't that a little derivative? You're absolutely right. Now, let's go get our fuck on. Don't call it a comeback! I've been here for years, I'm rocking my fears, putting suckers in fear, making the tears rain down like a monsoon, listen to the bass go. Tell me they got that in slow motion. I'm gonna knock you out. Doing the right thing is messy. But if you want to fight for what's right, sometimes you have to fight dirty. And that is why Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants is pure pornography. Oh, God, I wish I finished college. It lives up to the hype, plus plus. Fuck it, they probably won't even make a three. Yeah, why would they? Stop it, too. You killed it. (laughs) The Merc of the Mouth returns to the big screen in Deadpool 2. Following the loss of his love Vanessa, played by Marina Baccarin, Wade Wilson, a.k.a. Deadpool, played by Ryan Reynolds, falls into a suicidal funk until he's brought on by Colossus, uh, voiced by Stefan Pancake, as a trainee of the X-Men. On his uh, first mission, he encounters uh, troubled teenage mutant Russell, played by Julian Dennison, uh, terrorizing an orphanage. Uh, Deadpool's vigilante actions lands both himself and Russell in jail, where they encounter the time-traveling soldier Cable, played by Josh Brolin, who is on a mission to eliminate Russell. Along with fellow mutants such as Domino, played by Zazie Beetz, Deadpool forms his own team called the X-Force to uh, put a stop to Cable. So, uh... Back in 2016, Ryan Reynolds finally satisfied his dream of playing the wisecrack 
King anti-hero um, Deadpool, which uh, seems like he was born to play. Uh, the former film's uh, large surprise success guaranteed a sequel destined to make things bigger and better. However, as a result of uh, creative differences of Ryan Reynolds, the original film's uh, director, Tim Miller, left Deadpool 2 in pre-production, uh, being uh, replaced by David Leach, who uh, was the uncredited co-director of John Wick, and also directed Atomic Blonde. So, um, the first Deadpool proved that there was room in the uh, superhero film genre for... Or, uh, raunchy comedy and violence, and it is indeed uh, Ryan Reynolds' fourth wall-breaking performance as the uh, titular character that um, gives the film its charm. Mm. However, I do have to say that there is something a little off with the sequel, uh, which actually featured a lot more dark and serious moments than I was uh, expecting. Uh, So... um, Deadpool 2 seems to be uh, building up an expanded X-Men universe with the primary focus being on the formation of the X-Force team. So uh, this includes introducing Deadpool's frenemy, uh, Cable, who uh, initially seems like he's the antagonist of the film, but he turns out to have a much deeper character than initially appears to be. I cannot deny that Deadpool 2 is a very entertaining uh, film at times. Uh, however, I have to admit that uh, the whole uh, Deadpool shtick is um, starting to wear a little thin. Uh, all the uh, best stuff is already given away in the trailers, which are often more entertaining than the film itself. So, um, I am admittedly a, a big fan of uh, Deadpool, and uh, but I'm not sure... Uh, how are these films going to progress as a franchise? Uh, is uh, this supposed to be like a spoof of the cliches of superhero films while uh, still uh, following them? Uh, no amount of wisecracking can make up for the fact that the plot of Deadpool 2 is actually very much on the generic side. So, uh, ultimately, uh, no matter uh, how entertaining a character Deadpool can be, uh, even he is not really fully immune to uh, sequelitis, even though I do have to admit that there is one hell of a uh, mid credit scene in the film, and I w- will say that um, this is a film that I'll probably re-watch and probably enjoy better on multiple viewings, And uh, but ultimately I enjoyed the uh, first film better, so I gave uh, Deadpool 2 3 out of f- 3.5 out of 5 stars, which is a fair. So next up is my review for Tully. Here's the trailer. They take care of the baby at night so mom and dad can get some sleep. I don't want a stranger in my house. It's like a Lifetime movie where the nanny tries to kill the family and the mom survives and she has to walk with a cane at the end. Get over yourself. (laughs) Mom, what's wrong with your body? Hello. I'm Telly. I'm here to take care of you. I'm just not used to people doing things for me. I hold a baby all day, and then nighttime rolls around, and I'm supposed to just switch gears. Like, hello, I'm all sexy now. You're empty. Yeah. No, you're empty on this side. <sighs> Your 20s are great. But then your 30s come around the corner like a garbage truck at 5 a.m. Girls kill. No, we don't. We might look like we're all better, but if you look close, we're covered in concealer. You're convinced that you're this failure, but you actually made your biggest dream come true. If you want to run off or something, I get that. Because I want to do that too sometimes, but I'm not gonna... 
here to help you with everything. You can't fix the parts without treating the whole. Yeah, no one's treated my whole in a really long time. <laughs> A stressed-out mother of three hires a night nanny in Tully. Marlo, played by Charlize Theron, is a woman on the verge of giving birth to a third child who already has a stressful time raising uh, two kids with her husband, Drew, played by Ron Livingston, uh, particularly her son, Jonah, who is possibly autistic. At the urging of her rich brother, Craig, played by Mark Duplass, Marlo hires a night nanny play, named Tully, played by Mackenzie Davis, to help care for Marlo's newborn daughter. However, it soon comes to pass that Tully is taking care of Marlo just as much as the baby. So, uh, with uh, Tully, uh, director Jason Reitman reunites for the third time with uh, Oscar winning screenwriter uh, Diablo Cody uh, following the uh, previous two collaborations on uh, 2000, 2007's uh, Juno and 2011's Young Adult, uh, with the uh, latter star, Charlize Theron, also making a return. So, uh, continuing the uh, thematic progression of the three movies, uh, Tully is a film that focuses on the stresses that comes with both middle age and motherhood. Marlo is a woman on the brink as she has to struggle with raising three children while her husband Drew goes on business trips and plays video games in the middle of the night. However, the arrival of Tully turns out to be a blessing for Marlo, with the two forming a very unique bond with each other. So, uh, after taking a four-year hiatus following the uh, back-to-back releases of 2013's Labor Day and 2014's Men, Women, and Children, Jason Reitman reunites with the collaborator he has seen the most success with uh, in Diablo Cody. It can be argued that Tully uh, completes a uh, de facto trilogy of films that uh, tackle um, growing up at three different times in a woman's life. Uh, Charlize Theron is in the th- afraid to be completely unglamorous in her uh, lead role of Marlo, who is a uh, sporting much baby fat and is often on the uh, very brink of exhaustion as uh, she uh, watches late night uh, TV. On the flip side, Tully is a major free spirit and is incredibly caring to both Marlo and her newborn daughter. Uh, There's a good chance that um, Tully can be a breakthrough role for actress Mackenzie Davis, who is probably most recognizable for supporting roles in films such as The F Word, The Martian, and uh, Blade Runner 2049. While it can be easy to write off the character as a um, quote-unquote manic pixie dream nanny, it becomes apparent that there is much more to her character than uh, meets the eye. Uh, This includes a um, late revelation, which I really cannot say, but um, it definitely changes the way you view the film. While Juno was a film about growing up too soon and Young Adult was about growing up too slow, Tully is a film about a woman who has reached middle age and motherhood and is left needing help to handle the stress of it all. Um, overall, I would say that I like the film and give it a 4 out of 5 stars. And that's it for this edition of uh, Sean Kelly Reviews. I'll probably be back in a couple weeks uh, to talk about probably the uh, Solo and uh, uh, Hereditary. So that's it for now, and I will see you later. Sean Kelly Reviews is a production of Sean Kelly on Movies at www.skonmovies.com. The music is Out of the Fog from the website podsummit.com. You can support Sean Kelly by going to patreon.com slash skonmovies. You can read Sean Kelly's writing at www.skonmovies.com.